hey my love welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in i am zuki for those who don't know so i'm back with another video three things i wish i knew so this time it is life school family everything else in general so um yeah we are back with another part of three things and today i didn't want to play myself at all i have water i didn't want no fuzzy or gassy drinks so i just decided to do this video with my water so um i don't want to do a long intro because i like to keep these videos short and sweet so i will jump straight into the very first thing so number one i have everything on my notepad number one i wish i knew how to be myself so be yourself so for the longest time i wasn't myself i didn't know how to be myself i didn't know how to express myself because i was always worried thinking to myself what will people say what will my parents say what will my family say so by doing so i always kept to myself i always dimmed my light i always wanted to be liked to be nice um i just wasn't myself i wasn't expressing myself i wasn't saying when i don't like something um i was just okay with everything i just um, took everything in because I didn't want to be seen as the nasty person as the mean girl I didn't want that I wanted to be perceived as the nice person I'm a nice person in general I'm a nice person but then I think I wanted to be perceived as an extra nice person you know but then by doing so, I wasn't being myself. I wasn't being true to myself. Um, I think another reason that made me to be like that is the fact that um, I had people around me who wanted me to act a certain way. They wanted me to dress a certain way. They wanted me to carry myself in a certain way, which hindered me from being myself. Um, I remember I would, I have my moments where I'm free-spirited, where I'm just joking around, fooling around, I have my moments, but then I remember a time whereby I was being myself, I was just being a free-spirited person, and I was told that I am acting childish, I should act my age, and by saying act my age, the person actually meant I should be serious. I should always be like, you know, serious, stop fooling around, stop joking around because by doing that, you look childish. So that was one reason that made me to just be a nice person and not be myself. So it was also the people around me who forced me to be a specific person and not and not myself but i really wish i knew how to be myself because in if i was myself i wouldn't have taken a lot that i took just because i wanted to fit in just because i wanted to be a nice person i wanted to keep the peace i wouldn't have taken a lot of things I would have said when I don't like something, I would have spoken out. So um, yeah, that is the very first thing. I wish I knew how to be myself. So moving over to the second point, go to therapy. I wish I knew that I had to go to therapy. I had to stay in therapy. Now, I experienced painful, traumatic experiences from my teenage years, early teenage years. And um, growing up, I was close with my dad. 
but I couldn't disclose anything to him. I am the only girl child at home, so I felt like I missed having that sister part in my life, a sister I can confide in. And I wasn't close with my mom because moms and their sons. So I wasn't close with my mom. I didn't have a close relationship with her. And then I couldn't confide in friends. I could never do that. I had trust issues from a young age, so I couldn't do that. So I felt like I was dealing with everything all by myself. I felt like it's only me, myself and I in this corner, in this dark place. And at the time, I felt in a dark place. I was always sad. I was always crying. But then I didn't realize that depression started at that time so if i had known that i should go to therapy at that specific time i think my healing journey would have been so much better would have been so much easier um instead of starting therapy at varsity so oh, i cannot deal with this talk so um i didn't go to therapy at that specific point in my life i was avoiding a lot of questions because at that time you know back then if you went to your parents and then you say to them you need to see a psychologist you need to go to a therapist then it meant you were really d dealing with something huge so i was avoiding having to answer why do i want to go to therapy and all of those questions so i just decided to avoid the whole thing and just forget about it so i started attending um therapy sessions in varsity but then i dropped out along the way for no good reason so i really wish um i would have continued i really wish i would have went to therapy at that time when everything started because i think my healing journey would have been better and i think it would have been easier i really think it would have been easier um i think the reason why i just stopped attending therapy was because i just got tired of speaking of the same situations um yeah at that time it was still really painful it's still painful but it was worse like worse that time because even in varsity i was really in a dark place really in a dark place so um yeah i just stopped attending but um therapy is important we need it in our healing journeys um it's not meant to be easy it's meant to be difficult because you are meant to deal with those difficult painful um, experiences emotions you are meant to relive all those moments every single time but then everything is to help you in your healing journey so i really wish i would have continued and started attending therapy sessions at a young age so um yeah that was the second point go to therapy so the last point is timelines don't exist timelines do not do not exist i wish i would have known this back then so a quick story time um this happened in my undergrad my last year of my undergrad in april so i just randomly it was after my lectures i randomly decided to drop by at my faculty just to check if my credits are up to date is if everything is fine is perfect because i always make sure that i take every single module that i need i take um everything for that specific year so that my credits will always be up to date so i decided to drop by the specific afternoon and when i got there i just asked them if they could check if my credits are completed so far they did that and then i was told that i would have to come back the following year to take an extra subject 
so what had happened was when they kept on registering me each and every year they forgot a specific subject so i think it was a second year subject so after the three years i had to come back for six months to take that extra subject at that point everything was just spiraling i remember walking out of that faculty in tears um and i picked up my phone and i phoned my dad crying in tears and i told him i won't graduate in time i won't graduate in record time because of that specific subject now it wasn't my fault it was their fault because i always made sure that i don't register myself online i always go to campus stand in those long queues and wait for someone to assist me and register me so i was really pissed i was so pissed beyond pissed um so i phoned my dad told him everything that was happening so that year got done when the six months came for me to take the extra subject i didn't attend that's how angry i was because i wanted to graduate at record time that was the timeline so the timeline was to after high school go to varsity graduate get a job study further get married have kids that was the timeline but then when that happened i realized things are taking south things are taking a detour which i wasn't ready for which i didn't prepare for so i was so angry i didn't attend for let's say four months and then closer to the time of the exams that's when i started doing everything so that i could just pass that module and graduate later on in august of that year so um yeah i wish i had known that timelines don't exist life will throw you so many detours you will be thrown so many things that you didn't expect so many things that were not in your timeline and in any case god is the one who di dictates your life he knows the story of your life so i might have a timeline which isn't necessary he's timeline for my life so um timelines don't exist enjoy your journey embrace your journey what's meant for you will find you along the way so i wish i had known that and i wish i had known that as much as i want my life to go the specific way along the journey i will be thrown out i will be thrown south and I will be thrown back to square one where I have to start again, pick up myself, start again and continue on this journey. So I wish I had known that timelines don't exist. Um, yeah, just embrace your journey. Enjoy it because it's yours and yours alone. So that was the last point. Um, this video was a bit longer than my last video, but as I said, elaboration and a bit of story time here and there um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video um i cannot wait to start doing more of these videos thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn on your post and notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video i will see you in my next upload